A-Drone here. This is a pair of Bebop 1, and I've been doing a little bit of flying with it. Figure, uh, might as well get some burn on the batteries. This is an upgraded battery. Essentially what we're going to do here, we're going to do a timed uh, test. It's showing 95% here. I do have this in sport mode, uh, so this is going to be a timed flight for this. And again, it's an aftermarket battery. The battery that we are actually using is that battery which is a, let's see, 1700 milliamp an hour battery, which is higher than the stock battery. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and press our takeoff button. And she is up. And we're just gonna go ahead and fly it down. Generally, I do not fly this in such close quarters, but for the, for the sake of showing you guys, we're going to go ahead and bring it down here. And already we're at 79%, uh, so we've jumped from 95 to 79 and 39 seconds. And again, it could be because we have it in sport mode, maybe if we were chill flying it, It'd be a little bit better, and there's a really good look at it. And maybe we'll get over here, show you it. Nice fisheye camera lens to it. And we're at 75%. We're just gonna go down here, go down the street, and we are at 74%. And we're just gonna backlog here. This camera's pretty impressive on this. Um, to the fact where uh, it cancels out all the pitching, even if this was to completely roll over, you wouldn't see it in the video. No we are at 70% and my hat cam saying low power. Kind of hanging up over those trees. We'll look at the water there. At 67% here, and we are at a minute and 50 seconds. We'll go ahead and bring it this way just a little bit. Super bright over there. You can see the clouds. I can see the clouds on the FPV screen. And we are at 57% at uh, 2 minutes and 33 seconds. This is a really nice flyer. Hopefully uh, the hat cam lasts long enough to get a full flight time on this. I mean, halfway through the battery, we're at three minutes. So this is probably gonna see six minutes. Pretty sporty drone for a GPS drone. Sits nice, GPS holds nice. We're at 46% at uh, almost four minutes. Just wanna make sure my hat cam's still on. Hat cam is still on and we are at low power here. Thing's sitting, it's, it's lightly drifting that way but nothing crazy. And we just go ahead and uh, we're really trying to put a burn on this battery. It's a little look at the yaw rate. A little funnel action for you, some tight funnels. We're at 34% at 4 minutes and 14 seconds.
it's kind of doing a bank turn as opposed to just completely yawing out when I go to turn, which that's what I mean by it. it's kind of doing a bank turn, um, which is alright I guess. It's a little confusing when I'm used to just being able to completely yaw out of something. Uh, we're at 27% at 4 minutes and 51 seconds here. Make sure the hat cam is still recording. Hat cam is still recording. So like I said, we're probably going to see like a 6 minute flight time here. Yeah, it does a bank turn when you turn like that, so be aware of that if you're in t tight places or tight quarters. You might be able to adjust that into the settings. This does have a lot of settings that you can go into the settings and control uh, how far the, the drone itself pitches. Uh, it's very detailed and you could also probably adjust that bank turning. That way it doesn't do it. That way it actually j would just yaw like that as opposed to doing a bank turn like that. Now it's yawing. Put a little forward pitch and it does a bank turn. Go ahead and get this over here. And we are at uh, almost six minutes here and 17%. So we're gonna get a low battery warning any minute now. We're at five minutes and 48 seconds. And she's drifting a little. Uh, it's showing, uh, showing GPS 100%. So there's really no reason for that to be drifting. Although we have residential community to the left of us. So that's probably a good reason why it's doing that. Uh, maybe it has a little bit of interference. A little buzzing around, just trying to put a burn on the battery. And it kind of stabilizes again. We're at 12% at 6 minutes and 20 seconds. So uh, about a 7 minute flight. This is going to get about a 7 minute flight. Um, we're actually going to set it down now just uh, because of... Uh, the hat cam issue, but uh, I'm Jay Drone, guys. If you have not subscribed, please do. And this was the Parrot Bebop 1. Saw about uh, almost a seven minute flight on uh, aftermarket battery. Not great, but not bad.